Today, we're going to look at the Google BigQuery component. So, let's get started. The Google BigQuery component is available within an orchestration job. Simply select the component and drag it and drop it onto the screen where required. After connecting it up to the start component, we can click into it to get to the properties. Now the first thing we need to do in order to access our BigQuery data is authenticate Matillion to access BigQuery. This is done via OAuth and is done in the project menu available under Manage OAuth. So once this has been set up, we can go back into the component and we can select the authentication here. Now I need to give the ID of my Google BigQuery project that we want to access and then also the ID of the data set where the table or tables exist that we want to bring through into Snowflake. In the data source dropdown, we can now see that Matillion returns the lists of all of the BigQuery tables that we've got access to within that data set. And I can start to type to limit this list down. In the data selection, I can see all of the columns in that table that we can bring through. So here I'll select them all. And I have the option of adding in a data source filter if I don't want to bring through the complete table. I'm going to change the limit here so that we bring through all records from this table. And now I need to give an S3 staging area to stage the data via. And finally, I give the name of a new table that Matillion will write in my database. And now this component has turned green, it means it's valid. So I can simply right click and I can run this component. We can monitor the progress of the run in the task pane here. So we can see Matillion stage all the records up to S3 and then it's copied it down into our database. It took just eight seconds to do that and it's loaded almost 5,000 rows of data. I can now view this data within a transformation job within Matillion. I can read the data into this job using a table input component. Let me select that BigQuery table that I've just created. I can choose to bring through all of the columns from it. And now that table has turned green, I can click on the sample tab and I can get that row count through and I can see that sample of the data here. So now I can transform that data as I require. So maybe I want to use this plain info data to enhance some of my flights data. I can bring through this flights data into the job using another table input. Let's bring through the raw flights. Let's grab a subset of those columns. Click into the sample tab and check the row count through from this. And the see a sample of the data. And now I can join these two together using a join component. And in here, I can just specify one simple join into my plain info. I can give the join expression, so the condition that I want to join these tables on. Let's join them on the tail numbers of my planes. And let's quickly have all columns as an output of that. And now my join has turned green, so I can click on the sample tab. I can get a row count through from that join. And I can also see a sample of the data available here. If I just quickly jump back into the orchestration job, we can see the Google BigQuery component has the option to change from basic to advanced mode. And within advanced mode, I can write my own SQL query that will be run directly on my BigQuery database. 
and this will allow me to bring through some calculated columns if I wish, with the calculation being done down in BigQuery, or I can do any joins as well. And this Matillion component allows us to choose between using legacy SQL or standard SQL.